Well, it's cracking people. Angelic Mayhem here. So, welcome to the Copacabana. I would like to point out that it is a beautiful sunny day, and we are going to be doing some thumping today. So, what is a thumper? Well, basically, it is a personal mining device. All right. So, when you go out, you can take your thumper with you, and you find a good spot that has you know some resources to it. You plop down a thumper, and then you mine those resources. But the question becomes, well, you know, what good is that? Well, those resources can be used later to actually craft objects and things like that. So, in and of themselves, thumpers are good because they provide you with those raw resources. But they also provide you with a lot of targets. And the reason for that is because thumpers, because of the noise they make in the ground, they attract a lot of the local, we'll call it wildlife. So, how do thumpers work? Well, first thing you have to do is you have to actually buy a thumper. So we're going to go over here to Carlos the Thumper Guy, and we hit G in my case. So there's stock personal thumper, okay, and there's stock squad thumper. Now what's the difference between these two, obviously, other than the expense? A personal thumper is a smaller, less noisy version, which will obviously produce less in the way of resources and less in the way of creatures that you have to kill. A squad thumper is designed basically to have many people standing around it defending it. Here, this personal thumper, you will actually get, you know, just like little creatures. You know, you might get a couple of wasps and things like that, but that's basically it. A squad thumper will attract some big, big, hideous creatures that, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to need many people to take down. So do not buy the squad thumper, even if you have the cash for it. Um, unless you are prepared to go out with an actual group in order to make that happen. Now, I will tell you this, okay, before we, uh, before we get into this. Here is our map, okay? And as you can see, there's a little purple thumper out here. And basically, what they're telling you is that somebody else found some, a good raw resource and plopped down a thumper. And if you actually, if we were to go out to this site, we would be able to join their thumper mission okay by doing so anytime you see one of these thumpers if you up oh, that one just finished if you actually go there and help defend it you will receive a certain percentage of the resources now what percentage that is depends on how many creatures you kill how many uh, bullets you expend how long you're physically there so you know if you show up at the last minute you're only gonna get like you know two iron Versus if you're the guy who plumped down the thumper and then, you know, you're sitting there for 100% of the time, you're going to get thousands of resources. So that's how all that works. Um, really good system. So if you want to just experience a thumper, you can go to the map and hunt down a thumper, you know, within your area. Just go there and help out. But we're actually going to do a real one. So here, personal thumper. Because I don't have a group with me, so we're going to go, uh-huh, 500. I should lose 500 here, and somewhere down here there is a thumper. Alright, so now, where do we thump? That's a good question. Um, out here is like beach, so I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to head down here towards the river, so I'm just going to plant... Wait a minute. Set waypoint. Right. And now I have to find it. My waypoint. Perfect. Make sure you have all your bullets. And we do, and we're off. And there appears to be a bridge here. And also, it looks like a little box, which is exciting. Every little box counts. I don't know what that is. That's a half a tree stump. What idiot stole that tree? Oh, no, you know what? It must be part of the bridge. <laughs> It's just in the sand. Nobody knows why. All right, so let's call this our spot, okay? I know it's somewhere over there. So the question becomes, all right, well, resources, okay? Are there resources here? We don't know. So what we have to do, in my case, the, um, the key for this is C. I don't know if that's default or if I re-key bound this, but anyway. C will bring up this little menu here, okay? And one of the things you can see right away, it says resource gathering, right? Now, if I click on this, it will open up the resource gathering menu, and using my mouse wheel, I can scroll up and down. 
Here is the personal thumper that I purchased earlier. This is if I had a squad thumper, I could use I could, you know, also use it here. And when you click on this, basically what happens is that it assigns it to your 5 key. And then when you hit 5, you can actually plop it down wherever you think it should go. All right. Now I'm going to cancel that. So is it now the question is, is this a good spot? So what we're going to do is we'll go back into that same menu by hitting C again. Um, resource gathering, right? And then down here it says scan hammer. So we're going to click on that. And when we go pick a spot, right? And we hit 5 because that's where it assigns all the stuff. And boom. We find out that there is 31% raw ceramic here. Now that's actually a really good number. Well, maybe not really good. It's an okay number. There are other places where I've seen 50, some where I've seen 70. Um, and usually what you'll see on the map is like, you know, somebody's got raw octane going. You know that they found something pretty good, you know. So you might actually want to wait until their thumper leaves, then plop down one of your own. But regardless, this is, this is a good enough spot. So we're going to go here, and then I'm going to, hopefully while the sun is still up, I'm going to see. Stock thumper. And so anywhere in this area, we will get 31%. By in this area, I mean to about like right here. So, you know, you're looking at a circle that goes out like this, wherever, you know, this little uh, icon is. So we go five. He's too close to me, so. And right there. Now, Inbound. you got to be careful Watch that you don't get smacked in the head when this thing comes down. So don't go anywhere near it. All right, make sure we're fully loaded, and we are. Blammo. It sets itself up, and now it starts to pound. And as soon as it begins to count up, you'll see the capacity begin to go up. Once it reaches 100%, that's when it leaves. It will actually shoot off into the sky. So we're at 1%, 2%, and now we can expect to see some of the wildlife. They will come at random. And your job is just to take them out. Now, they're trying to destroy your thumper. So what you'll see is it says integrity. Now we're down to 99%. That's because they got a couple bites in. So your job is just to kill them as fast as you can so that your thumper doesn't die. But clearly, we're at 10% capacity already, right? And our integrity is still at 99%. So I have no doubt that we're going to be able to accomplish this. Of course, I'm a pretty good shot. One of the tricky parts is that when the toxin guys go, it makes a toxic cloud around your thumper, so you can't actually approach it until that goes away. Oh, I didn't even see him. There, there we go. Oh, hello. The explosive ones, if you can, um, try and kill them before they get to the thumper, because when they die, they give the thumper a little bit of a nudge, you know, just because they're explosive. Also, try not to shoot the thumper. Now this works out really well when you have multiple people all standing around. And because this thumper, I you, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, you can. So right here, it's on the map. You can see it says raw ceramic. Uh oh. Everybody dies. 87%, so we're still going good. So because it's on the map, people will begin to drift over as they see it because we're right next to the Copacabana. So anybody who's like, oh man, that'll be a quick, you know. Wow. I. You too. So anybody who, you know, just wants like a, a quick couple of, um, of resources, you know, they'll come over and they'll help out and then they'll get rewarded for it. Now there is a reward. The higher that your capacity is, um, the better your take will be in terms of resources. So you don't want that number to get too low. At the same time, you want this number to reach 100% so that it takes off. The tricky part is that you have to constantly wander around this thing because you never know who's going to sneak up from behind. When you have multiple people, like normally one guy can watch the bridge and then one guy can watch down there. I see you. I see you, baby. Oh, oh! Stop reloading! There. Oh, hello. They're so angry. It's all about movement. You gotta keep moving around. 65%, we're on a roll. 
I like to keep like integrity. I, I kind of shoot for a 70 or above. That's my goal because I don't have an incredibly amazing weapon yet. So I can't just, you know, start blasting these people out of the sky. One of the things that you can experience though is um, occasionally I've been hit with friendly fire where some guy has, let's say, like a, a missile launcher or something like that, and he's killing them with the missile launcher, which doesn't make any sense, because that also brings down the integrity score of your thumper, but I don't think he knows that. And I've been killed. Oh! Oh, no. Get away. Get away. Get away. With my last bullet, I strike at thee? Look at that. Now, the other thing that you should know about me is that I carry two guns with me just in case I run out of bullets with this gun, which is, you know, not going to happen. I mean, this is a personal thumper, so I'm only going to be here for another maybe minute or so. But just in case, I switch over to my other gun, and I do have 210 bullets left, you know, to handle the situation if, if I'm desperate. But I'm already, I'm at full with this gun, you know, so you're going to pick up with a personal thumper, you'll pick up enough ammo that you won't have to worry about that. If you're a good shot. Now, with a team thumper, everything changes. It's a bigger device. It requires turrets and things like that to defend against the heinous creatures who are coming to kill you. Look at this. No. They don't like the thumper, and they don't like you. This is a fail as far as I'm concerned, because my integrity is at 64%. Oh, now you have to get away from the thing, right? 100%. The bugs will continue to come. Ah, this guy showed up late. Goodbye. The bugs will continue to come, even though it's going to take off now. So you can actually get in a couple of extra kills. Oh, wait. I have to go over here and do a thing. Hit G, and we'll send it on its way. It's a wrap. 100% Boom. Whee. Uh, we'll do one last look around for bugs. I don't know what that is. And it appears that we are getting into dusk. So I'm going to take my leave of you. Hopefully that helps you with the whole thumper thing. Um, it's not a terribly complex situation, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who have questions about, you know, where do you find thumpers and things like that. But Carlos the Thumper Guy, he's the place to go in the Copacabana if you happen to be there. And I'm sure that there are other thumper dealers, but uh, he's my go-to guy when it comes to thumpers. He's the best that there is. Ooh, Oh, so now the question becomes, um, so what was our take out of that? Well, as you can see on the left-hand side there, it says new, right? So when I press N, thumper results. And left-click to show, so I do. 154, that's not bad per se, it's all right. Um, down here, the sifted earth, that's pretty much worthless, so you don't have to worry about that. I've been on some where, you know, like I've gotten 700 all the way up to 2,000, um, but those were team thumpers, okay? So you're going to pay a price by using a personal thumper, but the, the difference is that it's easier, and also it tells you how many enemies you destroyed, which is kind of nice. And really, at the end of the day, the enemies destroyed, all that experience that you get is really what the personal thumper is all about. You can, you can do a lot better in terms of hunting down resources in other places. There we are. So anyway, that is a look at Thumpers. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this in the future. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I will see you next time.